name is Anandi. I'm 14 years old. I live in Colombo, the commercial capital of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a beautiful island located in the Indian Ocean with a population of 21 million people. We have a heritage of over 2500 years. We have diverse communities of people and we are very hospitable. In March 2020, Sri Lanka went into lockdown for two months because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Social distancing and isolation became the norm. Life became lonely for a lot of people. A close friend who was an only child had a psychological breakdown. I knew then the gravity of loneliness and mental health. To find out more, I spoke to the psychologist Ranisha De Silva in Colombo. It is a common misconception that choosing to be alone and feeling lonely is the same thing. It's actually not. The current pandemic is a really good example of that. A lot of people were forced to choose to stay alone and therefore feeling lonely. And these kind of circumstances can lead to really serious consequences when it comes to your mental health. You may enhance existing or develop new mental health difficulties such as depression, anxiety and stress. In September 2015, the UN acknowledged the burden of mental illness and included mental health under the third goal of good health and well-being as a sustainable development goal. I designed a survey with the help of a counsellor and distributed it in my school with the help of teachers and others. I found that 83.7% of the participants belonging to all age groups felt lonely. 69.6% of the participants felt lonely more than twice a week. Researchers define loneliness as feeling lonely more than once a week. I followed the ethical guidelines when conducting the survey. Many articles and researchers confirmed that loneliness was a serious concern even before the pandemic. Not only in Sri Lanka, but the world over. It is reported that three in five Americans are lonely. With the help of AI Club, I built Colby to help people feel less lonely. Colby is a friend who will chat with you and try to cheer you up but also make suggestions for self-help and give information to reach out for the professional help for the people in Sri Lanka. The app is written with Python and uses a multi-platform GUI library called Kiwi. Kiwi is imported to the main Python code. The app's design and the layouts are written with the Kiwi design language. We have converted Python to Xcode. This is how my app looks on an iOS device. I use AI in my app to detect the mood of the user to identify if a person is feeling lonely or not. This is how it works. When the user opens the app, they see an introduction to Colby and by scrolling down, one finds information to help lines in case of immediate and urgent need to talk to someone. Next, by clicking the login button, the username and the password can be entered. After self-introductions, the journey begins. There are many apps to prevent or lessen loneliness and allow the user to connect with other people or train support like therapist. My app is similar to Replica who is an AI companion. I 3D modeled and animated Colby with happy colors to appear in the chat screen to cheer up the user. I added some jokes and facts as well. I would like my countrymen to be able to use my app with their native language similar and then integrate more options like animations and as well as making Colby more interactive. Colby is a very good app, especially at a time like this. I think so, it's very good. Sumitri of the Bee Friendling Organization mentioned in the app praised me for my efforts since Colby will not only cheer people up, but also direct people to seek help in difficult times. Colby can be a champion in raising awareness about mental health and lessen the stigma related to mental health in a country like mine.